Okay, so I got a good question on Facebook this week asking me about the transmission computer and really how it's set up uh, with the physical connections, not necessarily a software. So in this video, I'm going to go through the off-gear transmission computer. I usually refer to it as Olay's computer. And uh, I'll try to compare what I remember about the PCS2000 or TCU2000 from powertrain technologies. So first, let's start in the cab. So inside the cab here, um, you can see that uh, this is the actual uh, Ardu Arduino mega computer with a proprietary board inside uh, for a CAN bus uh, system. I believe that's Olay's uh, creation. Um, we have a couple ribbon cables here that go up to a display and a joystick. Now, I cannot remember, but I don't think that uh, the Powertrain Technologies had any kind of display whatsoever. might have been optional, but I don't recall getting anything like that in my kit. So, that, those are the only connections down here on this side. We've got the joystick, the display. Then on the other side, we have uh, two big connectors that go to three different endpoints. Actually, we have four different endpoints. Uh, the first is the shifter. So this is a uh, wiring that came in the kit. It came with the Mercedes shifter uh, uh, connector on it. It is specific to this kind of shifter, right? So different model year Mercedes had uh, different uh, sh gates in their shifter. Uh, you need to find one that is gated like this for that pin out to work. Uh, otherwise, the computer's not going to be able to understand what gear you're in because uh, internally there's like a module in here. I've, I've broken enough of these now to, to know how to replace that. And uh, that module will actually handle, um, you know, the lower gears. So physically, the transmission will only accommodate park, reverse, neutral, and there's a lever for drive, but all of that is controlled through the computer. Okay, so... The other endpoints go out to the engine compartment, so let's go out there. So here's the first endpoint we'll talk about, and whether it's powertrain technologies or off-gear, uh, both systems come with the main plug going into the transmission. So this is all uh, wired up for you, and uh, it is, like I said, the the first real real connection. So for the others, let's go up top now and look at the throttle position sensor and the boost sensor. The things of interest in here are the um, boost sensor. Uh, this will plug into the charge pipe. I used to run it on the turbo side. Now I'm going to run it on the manifold side simply that because that's where my wiring is. In theory, if I have no, no uh, leaks in my piping, it shouldn't matter where I run that. Okay, so the other is the throttle position sensor. This is a Mercedes W210 um, uh, throttle position sensor. I'm sure it's on many other models. And again, all of this comes wired. The uh, powertrain technologies did not leverage this kind of throttle position sensor. Um, I bought a package deal which came with a aftermarket throttle position sensor. It was universal, and it had its own uh, pigtail for the wiring on it. Uh, but Olay's does come all connected for the stock Mercedes position sensor. So those are the endpoints. You've got the actual transmission, the shifter, throttle position sensor, and the boost sensor. And that's it. Uh, optionally, it, it, and it's preferred if you do run an external speed sensor. Okay, so when I sold my powertrain technologies system, uh, I was still using this on my car to secure my flex disc. Uh, the way it works is you just have a flex disc on one side, you have your propeller shaft, and then you have a speed sensor on the other, and you would need a uh, you would need a three-pronged yoke, of course, to fit the bolt pattern. Uh, there were no options, so this is the set size and it's the smaller um, three-tab yoke. And that's that's really it. So required on PCS, not required on off gear. I will probably put it on one day. It's just not a priority right now. Uh, so I hope this helped, and thanks for watching.